We're here in Sunset Park in Brooklyn, New York at Jamie's Farm. We're going to be making some delicious granola, artisanal granola, specifically of the salty sweet variety, which I'm super excited about. So let's go make up a batch of our own. Let's not waste any time. Let's go. All right, so I'm with Jamie right now in my, my finest uh, attire here, but we're keeping it hygienic. And I'm super excited because we are going to be making some granola today. What type of granola are we making? So we're making sweet potato granola with cinnamon and ginger, but we're also adding sweet potato chips into the granola to add this really nice crunchy texture. This is like, heaven to me like all of these flavors like i'm super super into so not that we need a why of granola but for you what was what was your inspira inspiration for uh for making granola yeah so when i was in high school me and my friends were always just munching on granola like we would hang out at health food stores and just eat granola um, and at the time i was actually working at a fine dining restaurant and they were experimenting with all these culinary techniques of like savory and sweet flavors so i was just inspired by that and just wanted to bring it home to friends and family yeah and so spoiler i've actually had your granola before and it is super delicious that's why i'm especially excited to be here but you do hit those those savory and sweet notes so well so it can be a snack it can be a breakfast it can almost be incorporated into like a dinner as an accompaniment so it's so brilliant so well done thank you um but uh let's let's get into it so yeah. teach me what i need to do to make some of your fantastic granola. Yeah, sure. So we start with the dry ingredients first. Okay. So, and we're using coarse granola. We use good old uh, organic gluten-free oats. Okay. So we get this piece going. Incredible. And we have a bunch of other dry ingredients. So okay. We've That's got. Oh yeah, if you want to pour. Okay, yes. So we have our almonds. And everything just going in. Yeah, just okay. everything going in. This is like a beautiful mountain region of oats and almonds. Yeah. All right. Okay, and then we have coconut chips. Okay. And then if you want to pour the heirloom pumpkin seeds. Beautiful. So we get those from a grower in upstate New York, actually. These right here? Uh, yeah, right over there. Um, so yeah, these are actually grown in the Finger Lakes. Okay. Um, a lot of people don't know that most pumpkin seeds in the U.S. are actually imported from China. I think like 75% right? of the supply. Huh. Yeah, and so we actually work with like this pumpkin farm that's in upstate New York, right by Rochester, um, and they're growing this special heirloom variety. Awesome. All right, so we've got, we've got all of this working so far. We've got brown sugar, brown sugar, and so we're going to add that here. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. I'm trying to make it look artistic. I know that doesn't matter at the end of the day, but you know, I'm feeling like, why not? Okay, we've got all of that in there. Beautiful. Okay, and then we yes. have our sweet spices. So okay. we've got cinnamon and ginger. Beautiful. So we're just gonna pour it over. If you wanna add the salt. Oh, I would love to, yes. I'm a fan, I'm a fan of some salt and granola, honestly. Oh yeah. This is looking fantastic. Yeah. I'm excited about this. Okay, and so now we're just gonna get in here and toss it until it's evenly mixed. And so this particular flavor, was there any inspiration behind this? Or yeah. Or just deliciousness? <laughs> I mean, so I felt like everyone in the food space was doing pumpkin spice. Mm. So I wanted to do a fall seasonal that was a little bit more unique. So I just thought, why not sweet potato? It's brilliant. And I love sweet potato. <laughs> How are we doing here? Do we, do we feel like this is well incorporated? Yeah, this looks good to me. Awesome. Okay. And so... A big vat of granola. 
Now we've heated up our honey and our ghee. Okay. And so we're just gonna pour this over if you wanna help me. Absolutely, that's what I'm here for. And for anybody who might not be familiar with ghee, do you wanna just explain a little bit about what that is? Yeah, so ghee is a clarified butter. Um, all you do is you simmer butter over medium high heat and you take out all the milk solids in it. So it's actually lactose free, it's shelf stable for two years, um, but it still has all the health properties and um, it just still has the same buttery flavor. Yeah. yeah, awesome. Little education for anybody who doesn't know. Awesome. And we can also go in with our hands too. Oh, to mix okay. it in? Make it yeah. Yeah. I'm into it. All right, great. And then okay. it just gets kind of like dispersed evenly. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna make one of these. Okay. I get the easy job. <laughs> so you just wanna pat it down. Pat it down. Yeah. Nice and evenly. Alright. Amazing. Okay, so this is tempting me on every level here, but it's our nice cooled down granola. We've got this sweet potatoes here that we've magically peeled off. So what, what do we do now? What happens? So now I like to taste the product just to make sure. It's just to make thing. sure, yes. And so if you want to take one of these clusters over here I in the mean, corner. I will absolutely not say no to that. Let's get this guy right here. Oh, that's a generous one. Sorry about that. Should we should we do a little cheers? Yeah. Okay. It's good. You like it? I mean, this is where we just sit here because a mouthful of granola. But I mean, nothing can beat like this fresh baked granola. But the thing is, this is the exact product that everybody's getting anyway, made with love, and it's just so good. Like, it's happiness. Thank you. That's all it is. Yeah. It's happiness. But we make this even better by mixing this in, right? Oh, yeah. Now, what is the technique to that? So, it's not too complicated. We just, okay. take, we just take this bag pop it open and so we're just gonna fill these bags up but we we're weighing them right yeah okay so I'll let you start with that one so we're gonna nice. fill them to 7.8 okay and we're gonna top them off to eight ounces with a sweet potato beautiful okay so it is a, it is a, a bit of a science so this is a that little bit little over sure. and then we're just gonna Finish it off with the sweet potato. Then put, oh, oh that's eight ounces. There she is. It's, it's kind of like you've done this before, right? Many, many, many times. Yeah. <laughs> and Thank this you. one's for you also, so you can take one home. Thank you. Thank you for your help today. Oh, well, you know, you, you can call me back anytime. I'll be here now that I'm a professional, but uh, I know that you do have an amazing team here, so I think you guys are in good hands, but Thank you again, this was a blast. Thank you.